it's Emily. So today I want to talk about the Chinese penny because I'm from China. So、um, it will be like I definitely know more about Chinese penny than like others. So and it's interesting. So I want to talk about Chinese penny today. And so、um, basically, Chinese penny they all about like landscapes, birds, housing. Bills,、um, all about like basically it's all nature stuff. So today I want to talk about like、uh, landscape paintings. So landscape painting had already established itself as an independent form of expression by the fourth century. It's from the website. Then gradually develop into the two separate styles of blue and green landscapes in the ink and wash landscape. Obviously, this one I'm showing to you guys is ink and wash because you can see there's a dark ink to paint this.、Um, and so the blue and green landscape,、um, I will show you guys later.、Um, that's that use bright blue, green, and red pigments. Right from minerals to create a richly decorative style.、Um, so for the ink and wash landscape, it rely on varied wash work and a varying degrees of intensive ink to express the artist's conceptions of nature and of of course his own emotions and individuality. So like, so for、um, so for this one. Right here, the artist used the color empathy and the color white. The no, sorry, color white and、um, color keys to paint in this one. So you can see the things, the will closer to ours is more darker and richer, and the things like more far away from us, it's lighter and blear. So um, so I wanna show you guys another another one like the blue and the green landscapes. So right here, the one is this one. So obviously you can see there's some green and blueish color on this. Um, so it's interesting because you know um. Because Chinese pen using different brush to pen, so that's why they look like different between like other watercolors. So right now I'm gonna talk about like brush techniques of Chinese pen. So the the brush storks keep the pen rhythm and the beauty, and depict the sub subjects a war outward and their inner、uh, qualities. So they reveal the individuality and style of the painter as himself. So like, you know, all the painters they have their own、um, personality or they have their own, you know, technique. But like basically, it's like,、um, you know, using different like the the weight of the water, the weight of you know the color to paint different. Style different things, so、uh, basically that would be like overall the watercolor. So、um, if you interesting about like watercolors, you can Google online, Google it more about the information of like Chinese painting techniques, how to paint a Chinese painting, and yeah.、Um, so for today, that'll be all, and thanks for watching.